What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video, another rad movie review continuing the Nightmare on Elm Street review series as now we're going to be talking about Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. So this one I'm very excited for today. You're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So without a doubt, unequivocally at the top of the food chain for me in terms of Nightmare on Elm Street films, it's Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. That's really no secret that this film is at the top of the franchise for me. This is absolutely my favorite one in this franchise. I actually talk about this film at nauseum pretty much because I've been on Ken Sledge and Ashley Sledge channel, Sledgehammer Horror, talking about this movie. I've talked about it with um, from Angel from Voices from the Mausoleum. I actually did a, vo chan a video on my channel as well about this film, just talking about my personal experience with this movie. So I've talked about it all kinds, but I'm always going to take the chance to talk up this film. And like I said, we're doing a review series. And this is the perfect time, too, because we're hearing that Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1 is coming on 4K. We're probably going to get a steelbook, a big box set version of that. So it's very exciting. We're probably going to get some other Nightmare on Elm Street films coming out in physical media within the next year or so. So it's going to be a really exciting time for Freddy Krueger fans. So talking about this second film for me is why it's such a big deal is this is pretty much the first film horror film that I remember visibly watching in my house or visibly watching with my eyes and mainly because my mom is a Fred head. Freddy Krueger was always around. She had t-shirts, memorabilia type stuff, you know, like mugs, all that kind of stuff. We always had some kind of Freddy Krueger stuff around in the house and like I said my mom being a Fred head introduced me to the franchise and this is the first film I remember seeing in the franchise specifically the scene that sticks out the most to me is when Freddy Krueger is coming out of Jesse's chest while he's in um, when he's sleeping over at Grady's house like that is probably the most iconic scene the one that sticks out to me the most and the one that I remember seeing and it's such a haunting horrifying scene even to this day when you watch this movie for me like I love this movie to death but there are still times when I watch this movie and I'm like damn that is absolutely the Fred Krueger that I would not want to come across. So that leads into one of the main reasons why I love this film is that I think absolutely this is the scariest version of Freddy Krueger. I said that in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1, my red movie review for that one, is that the first two films are straight up hardcore, just slasher horror films about a dream demon coming to get you. And I think in Part 2, he's absolutely the scariest version, the line delivery that he has, because he gets a little bit more line delivery a little bit more charismatic stuff that he gets to do in this film but oh man the looks the way the design is whatever jack shoulder the director told robert england in this film to do worked because like i said he is absolutely menacing in this movie Another great thing about this film is we have Mark Patton who plays Jesse, our final boy, and one of the best final boys in horror history. And I love his character and his character arc and the growth. And I even love the subtextual like nature of the homosexuality, gayness of this film. I know it must be talked about. This is the gay one in the franchise. That's what everybody says. And even as a kid when I was younger... I kind of probably picked up on that a little bit, but I really didn't, it didn't stick out to me as much. When you get older, you could definitely see a lot more subtext that was written into the film because of that. But I think this film really stands out for that reason and being it that Freddy Krueger is trying to use Jesse's body to as a conduit to come onto our plane and affect our world. It's really fascinating. So I think Jesse is a Mark Patton as Jesse is the perfect actor and the perfect character for the lead in this film. Add into that we have the best final girl or his girlfriend to team along with him and that's Lisa and I think Lisa is fantastic easily one of the best girls you can have as a teammate in any kind of slasher or horror film like if I was going into a slasher film and I got to choose like a slasher final girl from my film to go in and team up with like besides my wife of course my wife's number one I'm taking her in Lisa would probably be a very close second because she is freaking badass in this movie so for me the music the kills the gore the the Robert England performance, the cast, the Lisa, Jesse, Grady, everybody, like the mother, the father, I think all of them are really good in this film. And I 
<clears throat> care about these characters. This is a family dynamic that when I feel it, there's funny moments that I laugh at. I believe the terrifying moments. I am scared for this family at certain moments. And like this is like one of those films that for me is just a total comfort movie. Any time of the day, any time I'm feeling, I could be happy, mad, sad, depressed, completely uh, glorious, just, you know, and anything, ec ecstatic. And I can watch this movie and I'll enjoy it. Because this is just one of those films. It just really is one of those movies that just touches a special place in my heart. I must confess, though, as a kid, probably when I was younger, I would say probably from the age of like 13 to 16, I would say Dream Warriors was my favorite. If you were to talk to young Robert being 13 or 16 years old, he would tell you that Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, Dream Warriors was his favorite, which I'm not going to knock on Dream Warriors. That's a very strong film. We are going to get to that film next. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel. Stay tuned to the channel so you don't miss that one. But Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 is just one that after you know really it's the first one i saw and just over time watching it over and over it's just grown on me so much it has one of my favorite dance scenes in it that's in a movie i know it's kind of silly if people watch it there's so many people that if you've never seen this film and you watch this film now you're probably going to find a lot of this silly or you're not going to have any connection with this or you're going to be like robert what are you talking about or norn what is wrong with you you are freaking silly you're crazy like but like I said, this film is just, it's one of those special slasher films, one of the greatest sequels of all time. And to me, like I said, I think the most complete Nightmare on Elm Street film in terms of everything that it gives me, everything that I want as a Nightmare on Elm Street fan, I get out of this movie. And that's why it's such a special movie for me. So as you can tell, it's glowing recommendations across the board for me from this film. In terms of Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Part two, Freddy's Revenge, probably my only negative, if I had any negatives, would be that it's not long enough that I could totally do with more of this movie because I absolutely adore this movie for real. There are people that I know talk about and bring up the negative that they hate the fact that Freddy is able to affect the real world and able to attack multiple people, a.k.a the pool sequence that or that's what they're talking about and specifically in this film but i think the answer to that for me is that freddy krueger is trying to use jesse as a conduit and when he breaks through and he takes over jesse's body he's using jesse to affect our plane and use his abilities on our world you know in our dimension so that's that's how i view it and that's how i feel it and like i said i absolutely love it because this is a possession movie this is literally a possession movie inside of the nightmare on elm street franchise and it's really fantastic nightmare on elm street part two freddy's revenge for me your boy rad norn rad 89 it's gonna get a rad rating of a 10 out of 10 this is like i said an absolutely perfect film for me one of my favorite slasher films of all time hands down one of my favorite horror films of all time and clearly it's the probably 8 out of 10 times. This is the Nightmare on Elm Street film that I'm going to grab to watch. Thank you for sticking around with me all as we chatted Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.